So I thought I'd just do a quick video on um, my latest project on something I'm not an expert on. It's uh, plumbing, particularly central heating. So I'm using this device, I'll just show you. It's a cheap pressure test kit onto push fit. So you can pump it up with a hand pump. I've connected my downstairs radiators. It's quite a good system from what I'm able to tell so far. So with the push fit, you're meant to push everything together. And by pushing everything together, you shouldn't have any leaks. But before I get this floor down, you want to be able to pressure test it. So rather than running water through it, I'm running air through the system, through that pump. So when I pump this up, if I can hold the camera in a place where you can actually see what I'm doing. See the pressure, you can see the pressure is rising. Or rather it's falling now, but it gives a great indication of where it's not pressure tested. So you can hear that. It's on this joint here. It's just not quite pushed in enough. The pressure tester cost around 15 pounds from one of screw station or tool fix, one of those two. And it saved me ripping up the floor later. It saved me running water through the system. And if you have good enough hearing, you, it indicates where the leak is. So you can fix that leak. So I don't think it's that it's not pushed in all the way. I've attempted to push it in all the way and it was still hissing at me like a snake. So some of these parts have been given to me. Yeah. And it might have been put back together the wrong way around. So I don't think that's the right way around. It should be the other way with the washer. So you've got all this rubber washer. They go inside. Sorry, I'm trying to show you. They go inside here. I believe it's the opposite way around. I'll double check one, but I believe the setup should be this one getting pushed onto it to this one pushing onto it to create an airtight gasket seal in there. But I'm going to take it apart, put it back together, and I'm also going to check an existing one. I'll just show you that. So what I have here is a 22 mil elbow. I'll just show you how this um, is constructed. This one's fresh out of the packet. So if you take these apart, which you need to do if you need to disconnect any of the connections, it's a lot easier. So you can see the washer on an elbow. This is always the case. You've got the washer, plastic washer, and then you've got the rubber O-ring there that's how they're set up and you can just about see from the inside oh, focus you've got washer on the outside o-ring on the inside to create that airtight watertight seal and then you go back together here there you go and that's what was leaking sorted I can go back to pumping this up and listen out for any leaks so you see the pressure gauge is rising this goes up to like four bar but I'm just going to pump it up to one and a half bar and leave it for half an hour or so and see if it drops it's just a little handheld bike pump and I think it's, I can't remember the name of the fitting. I know you've got Presta as one of the bike pump ones. So we're just up to over one bar now. Okay. So one bar, 20 PSI. I'm just going to go around and have a listen. All right, I can't hear any hissing. However, that doesn't mean there aren't any leaks. There could be a really minor leak. 
So I'll show you my tiny, tiny little plumbing run in the front room. So the start of the run here, you've got red flow, blue return. I'll put a diagram up on the screen to show you how it works. But it's just like a circuit and there's obviously a circuit of hot water from the boiler. So they run underneath here, they go down, it's all 22 mil till it gets to here. And it tees off to a 15 on the flow. And the return still goes, this is still in 22 till it gets to here. They're not clipped in yet. And then it tees off, goes underneath there, comes out over there. And then that continues to the last radiator and the continuation is all in 15 mil for the last on this run, which is there. So you've got the flow this side and the return that side. My radiators are interchangeable. So you just literally put the valves on TRVs on the appropriate side. But this radiator hasn't come yet. The one over there, this massive radiator here, I'm gonna fix it to the wall so I can get the get the TRVs perfect so the holes through the floor are perfect otherwise the, the pipes won't be straight even though this one's going to be under a radiator cover uh, like a wooden MDF one it's not worth doing if you're not going to do it right get it in the right position so I've marked on the wall roughly where they come through as you can see here and there it's where my uh, TRVs are going to be poking out the side of the radiator and then I'll fix this down, I've got a little tack there. Once the pressure test is complete, attach the radiator to the wall. Still got to be plastered, so the gap from the wall needs to be taken into account. So I used my laser to mark up the smaller of the two radiators when I was fixing it to the wall, uh, put on the brackets, get them level, check the radiator, I'm happy with the position because this one sits on the bars of the radiator where it's a column one. And then I wanna do the same with the top. I find it's easier just to take a direct measurement, hence the lifting on and off of that radiator. And then it's just messing around with the clips and getting it perfect. So I just disconnected the pump, which had a little tiny bit of a drop. So it is actually slightly below 20, uh, 20 PSI now, but I'm gonna leave it again for another 10, 15 minutes, just to check there's no air leaking from there. So what started off as a good little product has had taken a sour turn. So the pressure kept dropping off. I went round, checked all the different joints. There's not that many of them. Usually you could just hear it, as I could hear on uh, like one of them. But the gauge itself seems to be leaking water. Uh, or rather leaking air, blowing bubbles. So the pressure keeps dropping off because of the gauge. Well, I hope it's just because of the gauge. I'm gonna try tighten it up, see if I can get rid of that issue. If not, I might have to liquid pressurize the system somehow. So I seem to have tightened it up. I'm gonna pump it back up to uh, 20 PSI and then leave it for another 20 minutes and see what happens. So I put it on a time lapse for like half an hour and it dropped a little bit, but you can see the bubbles. I'm confident it's this and not the push fit. So after tightening it up, messing around with it for a while, tightening up these nuts, there was no further air escaping and this was pushed on as far as it can go. And the pressure has stayed like this overnight. So I'm happy. Uh, overall, for 15 quid, it's not bad. Just check that it doesn't leak sooner than I did. So put it in a bucket of water and check for bubbles. And then you should be good to go. If there's any leaks on any of the pipe work, it hisses like a snake. So watch out for snakes and watch out for bubbles. Thanks for watching. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in the whip with a thotty, looking like Skybree, she got a body, ayy And she been calling me daddy lately, want me to put her in Cardi J's And the b**** deserve it, put in work for the money she earn it Give me top every night, lips
service Then I gotta block these She worth it, I'm out of here Abu Dhabi With a bad b- look like Skyrim Ooh, right beside me